dear learners welcome to the session on adding assignment into genomeo moodle course at the end of this session the learners will be able to create an assignments into genomeo course and create rubrics for grading of this assignments assignment activity in moodle it will enables a teacher to communicate a task collect a work and provide a grades along with the feedback through this assignment activity student can submit his assignment in any digital content type in files image audio and video files or students may submit his assignments through online text editor options so there are two types of assignments assignments is submitted either by uploading a documents or submitted assignments through online text editor when reviewing assignments teacher can able to leave a feedback or he can able to upload the files documents with comments or sometimes a spoken audio feedback should be added by a teacher for the assignment activity assignments can be graded using a numerical or custom scales along with in genomeo moodle there is advanced grading method is available such as rubrics so rubrics can be developed and by using rubrics the teachers can able to give a grade for the particular assignments submitted by the students and the final grades are recorded in grade book automatically so for the addition of assignments into your genomeo course so just go into your course then click on add an activity or resource tab we have discussed earlier how this tab is visible to us for that purpose you have to first do a setting for turn editing on from the system gear box so just click on it then select assignment activity and click on add button then give a name to the assignments along with the description and then scroll down then set the availability of this assignments for the students so i have set a 7 days time for the students then set a submission type there are two types of submission either student can submit online text or students can upload a document file students may submit online or upload the document teacher can able to set the setting both settings can be available for a single assignments but try to avoid a confusion you can select either online text or file submission for this type of assignments i want to take a online text so i will select it automatically the below options are disabled once i have set it then scroll down then set a submission setting it depends on the teachers whether they want requires students to click the submit buttons or not but i will select it yes then you have to set the grade in grade there is grading method is available so for that assignments i have to set the rubrics so i will select a rubrics and then scroll down set for the access restriction settings so i will set activity completion that is this assignment is not available to the students until they have to complete the quiz for practice activity then set the activity completion setting and then click on save button so you will able to see the assignments on first page of your course but we have just set assignments still we have not 
added the rubrics into these assignments. So just click on these graded assignments. You will be here. So just click on this system gearbox, setting gearbox to find out the advanced grading options. So just click on advanced grading or defined rubrics. So click on defined rubrics, give the names to this rubric and give the description. Below the description window, you will be able to find rubrics. For rubrics, you have to add a criteria along with the labels. So first, give the criteria, give the labels for 0 points, give the labels for 1 point and give the labels for 2 points. Once you have done it, you can set for 3 levels, 4 levels or 2 levels. By using delete options, you can delete the levels or by using add level options, you can add the levels. Once you finish adding of one criteria, then click on add criteria button just available below the first criteria and then add a second criteria and go on, go on adding the criteria along with the labels. So rubrics can be automatically developed. Once you have done it, just click on save rubrics and make it ready for the grading. So here the rubrics is added. So just go back into the assignments, scroll down. So here you will be able to see a grading summary. You can able to see the submission by clicking on view all submission tab or if you want to give a grade, just click on grade tab. You will be here. At the bottom, you can change the display options. If you click on these first options, you will be able to see the rubrics in front of you. So just select a level or select the points if you want to give grade to the students and just provide a feedback in feedback comment. Once you have done it, just click on save changes or save and show next. Likewise, automatically the grading is updated in gradebook. So next is assignment is document upload type. So far we have discussed the assignments through submission through online text. Now we will discuss how to set assignments for document upload. So just repeat the process, add an activity or resource, select assignments and then click on add button, provide the name for assignments and description. You can either write down the questions in description box or you can upload the files in additional file tabs, just like uploading the files. Then select the availability of these assignments, then set the submission type. So here I want to set it for file submission. If I select the file submission, then I have to set how many numbers of files should be uploaded. So I will set it one. Then select a accepted file types. For that purpose, you have to choose that accepted file type, then select which file should be accepted. So I want to accept document files. So just I will select document files, click on expand and within the document files, I want to accept only in PDF format. So I will select only PDF documents and scroll down to find a save changes. So click on save changes. Once you come back here, now accepted file types is a dot PDF means PDF documents only is accepted for the submission of this assignment. Then set a submission setting. I have set it, it, it for yes. Student has to submit, click on submit button to submit the these assignments. Then next is attempts. You may set attempts is reopened never manually or automatically until pass. Depends on the requirement of your assignments, you set this assignment reopen settings. And after that, you may select a maximum attempts numbers. 
you may unlimited you may set it for one or two or three it may depends on your requirement of assignments so i have selected only one here then go for the restrict access settings activity completion settings and then say, click on save and return to course so here assignment one is updated so i have already run the genomeo course in my department so i have shown you the example of file submission type so once you click on assignments so i have given assignments in text format scroll down see here grading summary out of 52 students 33 students have submitted the assignments then click on grade so on grade button you will be able to see the submission of student in pdf format in this pdf format you can able to give the grades means you can able to give the comments you can able to tick it whether it is correct or wrong by using the toolbar available at the top of this pdf button and then you can give a grade into a grade box provide a feedback and after done this just click on save changes so automatically grade is saved in a grade book so far in this session we have discussed how to create an assignments with online text submission or upload document submission method along with we have seen how to set rubrics in assignment section so in next session we will discuss how to add blocks such as completion progress block into genomeo course thank you